The Brewers visiting the Reds on Thursday night. Craig Council's team coming in in first place in the NL Central. Jesus Aguilar just one home run shy of tying for the NL lead. Could he get it here as we pick it up in the third as team trailing 2-0 facing Anthony DiSclefani. And Aguilar in the air to left field. Will it stay fair? It is on the way and it is gone. He has done it again. Jesus Aguilar with a two-run home run. It comes with two strikes and two outs, and this game is all tied at two. Well, Joey Votto did not have a long game yesterday in Atlanta. Was ejected in the first inning. Ejected by home plate umpire Manny Gonzalez and now having a spirited conversation with Roberto Ortiz, voicing his displeasure for that pitch that Kratz and Votto are now starting to talk. And now benches will empty as Votto takes his helmet off. Scooter Jeanette trying to get in between the two. Bullpens empty from deep center and from right field. So this is becoming a little bit more playful than the fisticuffs of a brawl. Hit towards left, moving over Braun at the wall, looks up, and it's gone. A Cincinnati homer for Jesse Winker gives the Reds a 4-2 lead. There is Eric Thames. Matchup in the favor of the Reds here with the lefty on lefty. Tiger on at first base. Thames in the air to right center field. Hamilton going back. He's looking up and the Brewers have the lead. Eric Thames with a three-run bomb. 5-4 Milwaukee. And Council's move pays off. He lets it ride with Thames. And Eric Thames cashes one in here in the seventh inning. So now two outs for Tucker Barnhart. Into the stretch he goes. Here's the kick and the pitch. Struck him out swinging. Corey Knabel seals the deal for the crew, and they beat the Reds by a final of 6-4. The Brewers take down the Reds 6-4. Jesus Aguilar with three hits and two RBIs. It's his sixth multiple-hit game in his last ten contests. Janjelic had to leave the game in the bottom of the first due to stiffness in his back. Scooter Jeanette had his ten-game hitting streak snapped.